Women absolutely should come out and tell their stories, but then I think that we need to set a group of standards where when people are in violation, we can all come out and fight that. And I think that we need less vague um, virtue signaling from people in general on Twitter and more actual measures that we can take to help things along. So I think that, that hashtag me too, for example, yeah. I think it's good that people should be aware of sexual harassment, obviously. And I think that, I mean, I wrote a whole piece about this today. Uh, I think that if you are, uh, and I think that men should be aware that they should not touch women inappropriately at the, in the workplace and should be aware of their own actions. But I think that it is also imperative that if we're going to get anywhere beyond that, we're going to have to talk about inculcating in men actual virtue, and we're going to have to talk about whether some of the starlets in Hollywood ought to come out and start naming names, because it's very difficult for, for us to come out and fight the bad guys if you won't tell us who the bad guys are. And I'm specifically saying starlets and not up-and-comers, because starlets have power. Like, Jennifer Lawrence is the most powerful person in Hollywood right now. If Jennifer Lawrence comes out and names somebody, then we can all jump on board, and we can decide whether or not this person ought to be prosecuted. Right? Let's get the bad guys, is what I'm trying to say. We're all on the same side. Let's try and get the bad guys. Um, but I don't think that it's tremendously helpful for us to sit around and just feel bad for, our, for not, not victims, but everyone else. I think it's, it's not right for me to sit around feeling bad about the entire society when I don't have anything that I can. I want to be helpful. Like, give, give me something to do, okay? other than just say, I appreciate your bravery in saying me too. Like, yeah. Again, like, I need a practical measure that I can take to help now, or we can't fix this thing. Like, if you want to, do you want to fix it, or do you want us to, do you want us to sympathize? Like, sympathy's great, but if that's what you want, we can do sympathy all day long, and it's not going to fix anything. There are right now young people in Hollywood who are being sexually exploited. There are right now young people all across America in businesses who are being sexually exploited. This is happening a lot of places. I need names. I need standards. I need, to, I need, I need lawsuits. I need to know what are the standards that we can tell men not to do. Right? I think that was one of the questions that was asked right there. Right? Right. It was one of the guys saying, okay, if I say a woman's beautiful, is this now sexual harassment? I need to know that. That's, that's the thing we should talk about. But we're not talking about any of that. Instead, we're doing the, a woman tells her story and we all cheer like it's an AA meeting, and that's fine. But that's not actually going to accomplish the goal of stopping sexual harassment and sexual assault, which is what I care about. I mean, do you think it's like a good starting point? Because I think a big barrier to combating sexual assault is getting people to talk about it. And getting women to come forward with their stories. So I think that I think that women have been coming forward with their stories for quite a while now. I don't think this is this is anything groundbreaking. Uh, I think that there's a lot of it in like a week. But I, I don't think that this is anything new. I mean, we, we've been talking about rape culture on campuses for years at this point, right? We've been talking about uh, rape culture more broadly in the United States for years. Uh, we've we've had tons of. Uh, in, We've had uh, yes, all women. I mean, this is not the first hashtag even that's been associated with this. So um, I don't think hashtag campaigns are particularly valuable, and I don't think that awareness raising is valuable beyond just the general. Okay, I'll think twice before. Maybe I'll think twice before I give a person at the office a hug. Yeah. Right. I, like beyond that, it's hard to think like what rapist is going to be, you know, put off by this. Would, would Harvey Weinstein be put off by this? Harvey Weinstein is making movies about why rape is bad, right? Like, what, 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 yeah. like if somebody's a real sexual harasser, are they going to be put off by the Me Too campaign? If somebody is intent on doing that, the answer is no. And if you're unintentionally sexually harassing someone, then maybe this is helpful because maybe it raises your awareness to a certain degree. But for people like me, where I'm very careful about this stuff in the first place, I want to help. So tell me how I can help other than just you posted something on Facebook and you want me to hit like.